We wanted to move back home to be closer to his family. We decided to go with pods because things were stressful enough. We weren't sure how long we were going to need storage for, so we needed something that was flexible, and then they can deliver the container to wherever we move to. We haven't found the perfect house yet, but we're still looking. This is Melissa Thomas of Florida National News. We are here at Kissimmee, in Kissimmee, at the Sheriff's Office, the office complex for India Republic Day. Uh, this is the second time that Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez has hosted the celebration. So stay tuned for several key interviews, including our interview with Sheriff Lopez. You know, every minority group in our community, doesn't matter where they're from, and they're, they're positively contributing to Osceola County is what I'm trying to show. I want people to know who lives here, who works here. I want them to know our law enforcement officers and now I want our law enforcement officers to be able to identify and understand their culture. It just develops a better relationship between the community and the law enforcement. And this happens to be the India Republic Day, and um, they approached me about it last year. I said, why not? We have about four to 500 people out here. Actually, we started with uh, 200 folks, and as the weather is going well, I mean, we're seeing that people are more coming in, with them, having fun with the kids and, and their parents, and, there are a lot of stuff going on here. We have a uh, Pagadi celebration, we have a Hera celebration, we have lots of food from different restaurants, and uh, we are celebrating our, our one well, of the best day of the year, the Republican Day of India. And uh, this is the day our constitution was written uh, in 1948. So this is one of the holiest day for us. And everybody ha having exciting fun. And I see it, this is the second year we're doing this one with uh, Sheriff Marcos Lopez. And I'm, I, you know, our entire community is uh, so happy to see this because a sheriff is coming out and celebrating a day this day with us Thank so you. it is an honor is a we got indians all over from the world from american indians and as well like uh, how you add sugar to the milk we indians have come here to assimilate in the society and make osceola uh, sweet and for the people to remember that the indian american relationship flowers great in future. I was 30 years in the army and have, and have fought four wars. Now 34 years retired, living in America. And I had the honor to serve with my field marshal, five-star general Manik Shah, big general, only field marshal, and Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, if you have heard her name was wonderful and we were we are really honored you guys gave us a lot of respect and I'm so happy to have come here. It's wonderful you know Osceola County is growing in population uh, we're growing not only in the Hispanic market but obviously we're growing in all the different cultures that are coming from everywhere so doing these type of cultural events you know is the most important thing as elected officials so I want to commend Marcos Lopez our sheriff for doing this and of course for uniting all of us and coming together to this event to his place here and making sure that we all obviously enjoy the day. The second anniversary that the sheriff is um, have, having this event here in Osceola, it's always a pleasure to support the Indian community and always present. Uh, as we heard from Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez, there's a huge importance to this, not only to celebrate the cultural significance of the day, but also to kind of introduce the community to the Osceola County Sheriff's Office to make sure law enforcement becomes more familiar with the residents in the community, especially from different cultures so that they're more familiar and know particularly who they're serving and protecting as well. We heard from uh, Commissioner Peggy Chowdhury. She said it's also very important to recognize different cultures as they're moving into the city of Kissimmee because that population is growing. But stay tuned here at FloridaNationalNews.com as we continue to bring you coverage. This is Melissa Thomas coming to you from Kissimmee.